Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be looking at a pair I got from Luck Kick. Uh, these are the same company that asked me to do the website uh, guide video uh, earlier uh, last month. Uh, this pair is the Red Cement Supreme Dunks. Uh, we haven't actually seen a lot of reps of this shoe uh, so far, so I'm happy I was able to review this pair and I'm grateful that they sent these to me for free. Please note that while this is a sponsored review, I will be sure to mention any and all flaws I see, and I'm going to be completely honest and unbiased in this video. Due to YouTube's recent crackdowns, unfortunately I cannot include links in the description of this video. However, if you wish to buy these for yourself, uh, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram uh, will be on will be in the description, and feel free to click that link, DM me, and I'll be happy to send you a link. Jumping into the review, first thing we have the box. I've never actually seen a retail box for the Supreme uh, Dunk line, but from what I can tell, it looks solid. It has a very clean label and the proper textures. Uh, it is a slightly damaged, but you know, it's shipping from China, can't really complain. I think this pair actually went through Saudi Arabia, from China through Saudi Arabia, then to Italy, and then to here. Um, so it's understandable that there is uh, some damage. No extra laces are included with this pair, no extra tags or accessories, just the box, the packaging paper, and the shoes. Uh, in regard to the shoes, as always, we're going to move from the front and to the back, and we're going to start off with the toe box, which is slightly boxy. Uh, it is slightly boxy, but that is really unnoticeable on feet. The toe has the correct curvature, and the red leather on the toe has a very nice feel, and it's also the correct shade of red. Uh, the elephant or cement print that runs throughout the shoe looks very good, but the black lines in some places near the toe and near the heel are a bit too thick. Moving up, the black laces uh, are the correct thickness. There's no complaints there from me. And to the tongue, it is very well padded, just as an SB Dunk tongue should be, but there is a small flaw in the tongue tag. The stitching on the top of the tongue is a bit too close to the Nike logo, uh, where there should be a space between where the tongue stitching uh, meets the tag. The tag on the underside of the tongue, however, is perfectly fine. All the correct lettering is there and is the correct size. Um, on the rear of the shoe, you have the standard Nike logo and heel embroidery, which looks very nice in my opinion. Uh, everything is very symmetrical and very clean. Uh, the Nike is the correct size and the correct uh, centering. Uh, the mid panel, again, you have that red leather. Uh, and the swooshes are on point. Uh, I have no complaints, they're the correct height, and most importantly, they're the correct size. Very, very happy with the swooshes. Uh, there are no flaws regarding the swooshes that I can see, which is probably one of the most noticeable things on a dunk. One bonus detail is that the insoles actually spell out supreme when you put the shoes together. Finally, moving to the tag, looks fine to me. It uh, displays the correct size and all the correct writing and lettering and it has the Nike logo. Overall, I'm very happy with this pair from Luck Kick, and I'd rate these an 8.5 out of 10. Once again, if you want to buy these shoes or anything off the Luck Kick website, please DM me on Instagram to get the link. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.